Oh, mm. and Peter joins us now. Very good morning to you. Good morning. Hi. And uh, viewers will notice, of course, that Polly isn't a parrot. Yes. And that is crucial to the story. It's, t it's absolutely essential, yeah. The, that, the, the whole story starts from there, yes. Yeah. So um, you've come suitably attired, I'd like to say, with a fabulous pirate shirt on. I like to make an effort. <laughs> is it, did you, have you finally made the film you've always been waiting to, to make? Are you a great fan of pirates, pirate stories? I guess I am, yes, I am. I think probably dating back to Captain Pugwash, if I can quote that fine thing yes. and uh, and in fact I re remembered that like 15 years ago we pitched an idea to Disney I think um, a pirate idea so it has been around the, a long time but this but this particular idea totally came from a book there's a book called same title the pirates in an adventure with scientist by a guy called Gideon Defoe and when I read it I just laughed more than anything I'd seen for years and years and years so I thought that's, that's a good place to start. It plays merry havoc with history. It does. It does. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> extraordinarily I unreliable. Thinking, yeah, but that never happened. Yeah. Yeah. Etc. Yeah. Et I know. It's, I know. It's I an animated film. Yes, so. I yeah. But it's no. got Darwin in it. I know. It's, yes. It, it's shameless. Absolutely shameless. I mean, it's, it's so. It's so inaccurate. I, you know, please do not use this for in history class because it, it mixes up Darwin and uh, Queen Victoria, I guess they coincided. Napoleon, I think he was dead before yes. Victoria came to the throne. He's got the elephant man, he hadn't been born yet. So <laughs> it's playful, I would yes. say. Yeah. Should we have a little look? No, please. Let's have another look at what happens. Give me my dodo! Now, now come on, Vicky, be sensible. It's, it's just you, a tiny queen, against me, a dashing terror of the high seas. <laughs> on guard! Oh dear! Poor defenceless me! Oh. What is a girl to do? I'll let her steady on. <laughs> that was Queen Victoria. <laughs> the man hit on the head by the frying pan who happened to be covered with feathers was Darwin. Sorry. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. 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 And, we, and we, we, we discussed giving her um, uh, Union Jack bloomers, but we, but we drew the line at that. <laughs> and this is Hugh Grant. That's Hugh. As yeah. we've never seen Hugh yes. Grant before. Yes, yes, there he is. So um, he does the voice, and yes. apparently the first time he's done an animated yeah. film. Yes, um, yes. How did you get him it, involved? Um, from the script, I think. I think the script was really funny, and he's a very smart actor, Hugh. And the, and um, we've I've tried to engage him before, actually, in in the past, ten years ago, I tried. He wouldn't play ball, but this script was so good that he went for it. Mm. And um, and is this the model that you use in the it's filming? A it's a genuine, it's a genuine puppet. I'm picking it up here. Um, it's a puppet. It's, well, yeah. I mean, so so it's quite heavy with, with a metal skeleton inside. And the whole point is that, this, that it goes. It goes where you put it, and then it stays there. That's the essence of it. So just talk us through the filming process yes. with this, with this <laughs> yes. puppet in your hand. Yes, well, what I'm doing now, yeah. although much, much slower, is sort of what happens, which is to say you move it a little bit, pose the fingers, you know, tilt the head, do all the delicate, the delicate things we do, then take a frame, and that frame is one twelfth of a second, and then do it again for the next twelfth of a second. Right. But back in the days of Wallace and Gromit, yep. you usually only had two, possibly three characters on screen at any one time yeah. to deal with. Now, yeah. when you've got a whole boatload of pirates, yeah. it's a slightly more complicated it process. Is, yeah, it's, it's certainly more work, for sure, yes. It's the thing that, that wise people shy away from, because like Wallace and Gromit was perfect, because there was two people, mostly, and, and Wallace didn't walk around very much. If you, Nick Park is very clever. And and Wallace would always avoid walking. He'd always he, he'd move in mid shot or <laughs> suddenly appear in another side of frame. Anyway, um, that's easy to do. But yes, indeed, uh, eight pirates running around is is a lot of work. And um, mm. and the animators were amazing. You know, they they kind of got into it. They, we, it was like a, a competition to who could do the most <laughs> insanely ambitious scenes. I mean, <laughs> there's a scene in the pub where like 25 characters are all being animated at once and that's one animator going around each of the 25 mm. characters and remembering every, just every, how much you're moving from yeah, previously yeah. every frame so that's a huge effort so how so you've got let's say a scene that lasts 30 seconds 45 seconds yeah. how long would that take to film it's very hard to say but it might that might take one person oh five six weeks that, <gasps> that kind of thing a 45 second scene would take that, five that or be, six weeks. That'd be longer weeks. now. No, no. Oh, I've got, I'm sorry, 30 seconds. Got to be, that's got to be another month. 30 seconds, probably about, yeah, that, that sort of thing, that's yes. so labour intensive. It is labour intensive. intensive. Yes, but fun. I tell you, the nice thing is, because 
they're real puppets and you're really moving and you're in a, a beautiful set or a tiny set but, but a real set all that kind of stuff compared to computer animation yeah. Yeah. you just sit at but, the keyboard that's so boring but, and <laughs> so it's clear what the animators do and yeah. it's clear what the actors do because yeah. they learn their voice in yeah. the studio etc what does the director uh, actually fair do? Fair question, that's a good point. Oh. Yeah. No, everything, everything. I'm very, I, uh, you are in questions. charge. I'm in charge. I, I crack the whip, yeah. I shout and yell. Well, and move that hand <laughs> faster. <laughs> exactly. Well, you but can talk, if, you, but if you're in, if you're in a, a, a live film, yeah. so to speak, you can talk to the actors about their motivation and all that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. But what you can't talk to the animators, but you don't, you do, who can no. you talk to? But, no, but my, no, you do actually talk to, you, you do talk to the animators <laughs> about that. And also, What's, what's very good fun is we acted out, or I act, act, act out quite a lot myself, sort of miming mm. to Hugh Grant's voice. I would then act out and record that on video and say to the animators, like that. Yeah. yeah. Because, of course, that's the thing about voicing a character in one of these yeah. films, is that Hugh does the voice, but none of the actions, none of the movement, that's all down to you, isn't it? Yeah. But it does come absolutely from what he's said. It's very, you know, when he uh, hesitates, when he accelerates, when he... His voice goes up and down. You can hear, you can hear what he's doing. Yeah. You, you know what he's doing with mm. his face, or should be doing with his face. Sometimes we actually record the actors in the room as well, which was which um, Hugh, I must say, is fairly conservative when he's uh, acting. But uh, David Tennant, for example, w is very very dynamic and visual when he's when he's acting. Yes. So we would record him and, and take reference from that as well. Yeah. Ah, very good. Well. It's fascinating to hear about the process. It's a very entertaining film. Is Good. Polly Thank in gosh. that beard? Uh, you're not actually in there. No, not now. No, but, she, no, but you've, got to, you've got to believe she could be. Yes. Exactly. Believe. Yeah. You've got to believe a lot. Yes, All right. oh, Peter, Thank great to see much. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Pirates in an Adventure with Scientists is in cinemas from the 28th of March. Great fun. 8.44. Here's Carol. She's found the corkscrew. And here's the forecast. <laughs>